A Sweetwater woman was the sole fatality of a motorcycle accident taking place early Sunday morning. Police reports revealing that she and her driver were evading a semi truck as it merged into their lane before they lost control. KRBC's Noel McKinney speaks with Texas DPS and TxDOT, each touting the importance of the well known Share the Road campaign as more and more motorcyclists make their way to the big country. Just before 3 a.m. on Sunday, April 30th, a life was lost on Interstate 20 east of Roscoe. We were with the family involved in this crash and uh, in, the, in the loss of this young lady. 24-year-old Alexis Faith Biggs pronounced deceased on the scene when, as police report details, a semi-truck merged into her lane, causing the driver of the bike she was on to swerve into the shoulder. During that time frame, lost his passenger. Texas Department of Public Safety Sergeant Mark Couch says the driver was not injured, though that doesn't mean he was unaffected. Every death is somebody mom, dad, brother, sister, friend, cousin, somebody important. TxDOT Brownwood's public information officer, Lisa Tipton, emphasizing the magnitude of loss this accident speaks to. November 7th, 2000 was our last deathless day in Texas. Not a day passing since without a fatality on our roads, with 562 motorcyclist deaths in 2022 alone. And that's really tragic. We want to end that this year. TxDOT urging drivers to share the road. The share the road campaign is one that we can squarely get behind. Look twice, double check that there's not a motorcyclist coming because they are a smaller vehicle and they tend to blend in with the road at times. But motorcyclists can't always count on drivers to do the right thing. So as Couch puts it, how would you prepare for a ride if you knew you were going to crash tomorrow? Wearing a helmet, doing everything you can to try to make sure your survivability goes up. Because nothing can be done to bring back those that we've lost. But there's no reason the loss has to continue. Every death is one too many. We've got to all look out for one another and hopefully we can, we can save some lives. For BigCountryHomePage.com, I'm Noah McKinney. Thank you, Noah. Tipton says spring is typically the time more mo motorcyclists hit big country roads with scenic drives and good weather. Sergeant Couch reminds that motorcyclists make use of the driver education courses available here at Abilene and around the big country before going out.